Hello friends, welcome back to our Health Matters with me, Dr. Nafala. Today we are going to discuss an important issue that affects millions of people worldwide, smudging. Smudging is not only harmful to your health, but it can have lethal consequences to both smokers and those around them. So in this video, I will be providing you with the dangers of smudging and the tips on how to quit. Smudging is a habit that poses significant risk to your health. It is a leading cause of preventable diseases and premature deaths globally. Cigarettes contain over 7,000 toxins and chemicals, including tar, nicotine, carbon monoxide, and various other toxins. These substances can have devastating effects on your body. Firstly, smoking damages your respiratory system. The inhalation of smoke causes irritation and inflammation of the airways, leading to conditions such as bronchitis and also emphysema. Over time, this can lead to decrease in lung capacity and also making it harder for one to breathe. Secondly, smoking significantly increases the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. Chemicals in cigarettes can damage your blood vessels, leading to formation of plaque and also narrowing of arteries. This can result in heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular complications. Thirdly, smoking is the major cause of various types of cancer. The chemicals in tobacco smoke can damage DNA and trigger abnormal cell growth. Lung, throat, mouth, and bladder cancers are particularly related to cigarette smoking. However, smoking is also associated with development of cancer in almost any other part of the body. Now that we understand the dangers of smoking, let's focus on how to quit cigarette smoking. Quitting smoking is quite challenging, but not impossible. With right strategies and support, you can break this harmful addiction. Firstly, choose a dead and make plan. Choose a date that you want to completely quit smoking. Prepare yourself by identifying triggers and also find the best way to cope with cravings. Develop a support system by letting your family and friends know about your decision and also seek for professional advice health-wise. Secondly, consult your physician for advice and options for nicotine replacement therapy. Thirdly, engage in healthier habits and activities. Also try to exercise regularly in order to increase your lung capacity and also maintain a balanced health. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek for professional advice from your physicians, social workers, and also try to connect with those that quit smoking so that they will put you through and you will have a better health. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you next time.